Hello guys, this is Adip. Welcome to my channel Movement Science where I simplify biomechanics with Joe. In today's video, we are going to talk about the second part of kinematics of the ribcage. And in this video, we will be focusing on the pump handle movement at the ribcage. So let's get started. So in today's video, we will be covering the pump handle motion that is seen at the ribcage. Okay. And in previous video, we had seen the bucket handle movement. So if you haven't checked out that video yet, please go and check it out. It will help you understand this concept much better. Okay. So first starting with the pump handle motion, it is seen from your rib two to rib seven, which have direct articulation with the sternum. What about the first rib? Your first rib has very little movement present, mostly because it's large and thick articulation with the manubrium. The coastal cartilage of your first rib is much stiffer and they are synchondrosis joint, unlike others which have synovial joint. And also another thing to add over here is posteriorly, these first rib articulations are much mobile because they just have single facet. So all in all, the first rib has very little movement and it articulates with the manubrium and manubrium sternum also has very little movement due to the first rib. So coming back to our pump handle motion, which is seen from rib two to seven predominantly to understand about this motion, we need to first understand the axis, correct? The coronal axis is seen over here. So if you can see over here, this is the upper ribs and the axis is more in the frontal plane. So if you imagine this is the frontal plane, right? If the axis is like this, and if you take the articulation of the rib, where will the movement happen? It will happen in this direction, correct? The rib will move like this. So that is what forward and upward motion, right? If I'm like this and the axis is like this, the, the movement is forward. It's going in this direction. And if you take the sternum along with it, sternum will be moving in this direction. So that is the pump handle motion that is seen, the sternum moving upward and forward. So coming back to the slide, as I mentioned here, the coronal axis at the vertebra causes movement in the sagittal plane, correct? This is your sagittal plane and the sternum is moving in this direction, just like your pump handle. And the ribs, if you see what happens at the ribs, the ribs become horizontal with inspiration. If you can see the ribs were like this, they were angled down. But as you do inspiration, the ribs will move upward and they will become horizontal, correct? And these ribs along with their own movement, they will also push your sternum ventrally and superiorly that is forward and upward, right? So that causes this pump handle motion and these two movements together, they cause increase in the anterior posterior diameter of your thorax. As you can see, this was the original diameter from here to here and then everything moves forward. So there is increase in the anterior posterior diameter with this movement. So simply put the pump handle motion is motion where your ribs become more horizontal and along with that inspiration, the horizontal movement, they also push your sternum outward and upward, creating that pump handle movement. And why does this happen? This happened because majorly of the orientation of your axis and orientation of your ribs, just like how we saw in the previous video where the orientation of the ribs and axis was causing a bucket handle movement, right? So with that, we finish off this topic. We saw that the first rib is very stiff and there is very little movement at the manubrious sternum and the first rib because of its articulation and also the stiffness at the joint. And we saw at the starting few ribs, that is from two to seven, we mostly see pump handle movement where the ribs become horizontal and the sternum moves anteriorly and upward, right? And the ribs in between are in the transition zone, which have mix of pump handle movement as well as bucket handle movement, right? So with that, we finish off this topic. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching.